All right, so we are now meeting the man whose body was used to create the bad Superman versus Superman. And we have him right here in the flesh. How are you hey. doing, sir? Great, thanks. Good, good. What, what is your name? My name is Rosano. Uh, Chad. Hey, Chad. Nice to meet you, buddy. Great. Um, so, you, your body is, was used for the current bat suit? Yes. Are you wearing a, a version of that now? I, I'm, I'm making my own, I'm wearing my own modified version of it that I use to uh, visit uh, kids in uh, hospitals and for shows like this. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Now, have you actually gotten to meet uh, Ben Affleck or any of the people in Justice League or any? Uh, we crossed paths one time. Uh, this was out in California, and uh, they used my physique to hold the bat suit that he wore in the movie. How did they come across you, or how did you get your body? Uh, we the... were on a, like a talent bank type thing, and we had to, um, I was called uh, by the company to come out and audition. And uh, with a bunch of different guys, probably three days worth of people coming in there, different body sizes, and I got the call to come in, and uh, it went from there. It was uh, a mold of my suit, a huge photo that was taken in a big computer-like machine that gathered all the, uh, down to the pores of your skin. Uh, and then they created the suit out of my muscles and made a padded type of a suit that was that even wear for the movie. So you must, you must uh, train a lot, physical training? Yeah. Yeah, that's my business. I've been doing it for almost 20 years. A little out of shape now. I had a shoulder surgery after the movie was done. But, uh, yeah, I've been training for over 20 years now. Now, uh, do you keep in touch with people that are like in the movie business? Not really. Uh, I since moved back to Detroit, and it's kind of more of a isolated type community. I mean, there's friends that I have in the business, but, uh, you know, it's basically just kind of uh, everybody does their own thing. Now, have you always been a fan of Batman and that kind of oh, thing? Yeah. yeah, my favorite was uh, the Batman with uh, Jack Nicholson and uh, uh, Michael Keaton. Gotcha. Would you say that's your favorite Batman movie? I would say so. That was what I remember as a kid. Awesome. But I like this one because my body was in it, so. What do you like the most about Batman? What draws you the most to Batman? Well, I liked he had a mystique. You know, he was a, kind of a wealthy guy in his, in his mansion, but yet he doubled as a character that went out and, and helped the world out. And he was still human, unlike some of the other superheroes, which were kind of genetically altered. He right. still had his, his human character, and he was, but yet he was superhuman at the same time. Do you think Justice League and the new Batman movie will be good? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it should be good. Yeah, that's good. They're, they're recreating the suit a little, which I think are, is a little bit uh, too mechanical looking, but uh, I still like the, the muscularness of the old one. Now, how often do you go to hospitals or different organizations? Or uh, like, is it, is it? I was in Ann Arbor last year at Mott Hospital. I've been at Beaumont. Whenever I can, I'm open for engagements and speaking engagements. So as, as often I can, I've got my director, Michelle, who's at the next booth, and she handles all that for me. Right, so you're a physical trainer, and you make visits like this and the hospitals and stuff. Yeah, that's correct. Excellent. Yeah. Now, is there anything that you could tell the wide world out there, if you could tell the world anything at all? I would say stay physically fit, be healthy, put, you know, treat your body the right way, and uh, help the world out and just be, be good for others. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Take it easy. Be well. Be well. Awesome.